Hey guys, welcome to SSU Tech Social Decide. And today we are going to see about the validation schema in the data flow. So validation schema is basically going to use when your source and your sync are not going to same. Then we don't want to execute our pipeline. So on that scenario, this will help. us. So as per the Microsoft, it is used to validate the source schema. If there is any changes in the source schema, then it would fail the pipeline as I told you. So go to the Azure Data Factory and we'll try to implement this in practice. So here we are having this file which is the employee data new file and it has total four columns here and it, this is under the input folder. So what is our requirement? We just want to load the data and this file from the input folder to output folder of this blob storage. So go to on the Azure Data Factory and here let me try to add a new data flow here so in the new data flow we can see add source so we can click on that for the source we have already created the data set so let me try to use that one and go to the open so we can validate that so this is under the input folder of the employee data new .csv file so this is the same now let me try to add quickly sync here so this is the sync we have added so go to the source side and here we can see the options so under the options we can see the allow schema drift then we can see the infer drifting column type then we can see the validate schema so for first these two will be going to cover in the next video in this video i am very concerned to discuss about the validate schema so let me select this checkbox here so what it will be going to do it will be going to check the source schema and the sync schema both and if data is not going to match if any new column is added or any existing column has dropped then your pipeline will be failed like this data flow will not be executed successfully so here we can select that one so it will be going to check the schema first now we can go under the projection and in this the projection tab we can see few options like the define default format then detect data type so let me try to use the detect data type because the detect data type will be going to by default it will be going to have the string columns here like all the columns will be going to have the string data type but in case of the detect data type it will be going to detect what is the actual data type of that column so it will be going to detect like that now we can go here like reset schema we can reset the schema let me click on that so by default it was a string so it has a string now let me detect data type again so it will be having a string values so as we can see it got changed now we can go directly in the data preview and we'll try to see the data so it should have all the data here with all the columns so that we can see that now let me go in the sync side and under the sync let me try to create a new data set and here output should be on the azure blob storage let me click on continue delimited text continue here this is the data set for the sync of the employee now let me go in the link service and here SSU testing first row as header we can select this checkbox let me go here let me select this output folder and click on ok here the file that should be employee.csv file now everything is ok so we can click on ok so here it got failed because it is not able to import the schema so let me try to import a schema option as none and then try to click on ok now let me go in the data preview and try to see the data here so it should have all the columns with all the data now let me try to publish this so this will be going to publish so we just want to execute this by using the pipeline so we can directly go here try to create a new pipeline and for executing of any data flow we are required to use the data flow activity we can drag and drop here and after that go to the settings and in this setting we can see the data flow 
so we can select the data flow here now if you are going to execute this so your file will not be in the output folder now so that should be there so as of now we can see only this one file which is the filter one this is in progress so we can wait so it got executed let me go back here and try to refresh this folder so this should have the file so as we can see this is the file so let me try to open this and here let me go in the edit so under that we can see all the data with all the columns now let me try to go in the source again and now we are required to do some changes here so for example let me go in edit and here let me try to remove the department column from here so it will not have the department column now so it should be going to fail the execution of the pipeline because your schema is not going to match and we have selected the option for the validate schema let me click save this so it has only three columns at the source now let me try to debug it so this time this should be fail just because of validate schema option so we can wait so here as we can see this got failed let me check the error message here so error message is saying job failed due to the reason the column in the source configuration cannot be found in the source data set schema so this is the same error it is returning like your source schema is not going to match so this is all about the validate schema so thank you so much for watching this video if you have still any doubt then you can comment your questions in the comment box see you in the next video